Hey too, this is Jaden Storm coaching Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be a two-way video. It's going to be talking about a topic that a friend of mine asked that I do a video over, and also <clears throat> an episode review of episode 21 of Cardfight Vanguard G. <clears throat> so, first off, there's going to be a lot of discussion from the 21st episode of Vanguard G, so if you have not seen that episode, I advise you to go watch that before you... Uh, listen to this video because there will be spoilers or if you don't care you can continue but if you do not want anything to be spoiled from the episode you need to turn off this video and go check that out and then you can come back and watch this so anyway <clears throat> my friend um frank who i'm going to give a shout out to from uh uh from team and anger um you he sent me a a text message and we started talking about an, an occurrence that happened at a tournament of his where his opponent was stacking. Now, stacking, <clears throat> in other words, you know, cheating, giving yourself an unfair advantage. Um, he said his opponent was like, say this was a trigger, when he would be like shuffling his deck, he would be doing, like he would be shuffling, and then he would make sure that the trigger got on top of the deck, and would off, and then, you know, that's how he would shuffle it, and then Frank, being smart, would shuffle the deck, so then the trigger gets lost in the deck, so it's then considered random and fair and not cheating. Well, this player went on to say that the only reason Frank won his match was because that he triggered and Vanguard's all luck. There's no strategy to it. I mean, Frank was really mad. And, um, and, and to be real honest, I was mad too, because I am sick and fucking tired of hearing people say Vanguard takes no skill. I... Because, in my opinion, Yu-Gi-Oh! takes no skill. And there's more to back that up than there is that Vanguard takes no skill. So, <clears throat> if you have, you know, ill things to say about Vanguard, um, don't do it on this channel. Because I am sick and fucking tired of people talking about the game when they don't play the game. So, because there's this one person at my locals who will remain nameless... He plays Yu-Gi-Oh! And he says Vanguard's a terrible, horrible game, requires no thought, it's just all luck. And I said, really? Uh, since when have, you, when have you played Vanguard? Oh, I don't know how to play. Then what the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up! And that's what I said to him. But, so, <clears throat> but anyway, back on the discussion of cheating. Okay, cheating, you know, <sighs> you know what, here, just for fun. Just for fun here. Let's plug this in so my phone doesn't die because I was charging it. Let's go to... Let's go to... Let's see what the dictionary says is the definition of cheating. Cheating is the getting of reward for ability by dishonest means or finding an easy way out of an unpleasant situation. I'd say that's a pretty uh, accurate description. But I'm sure all of us have succumbed to someone cheating against us at least once. Maybe in your younger years you even may have cheated yourself. You know, but to be real honest, I can't stand cheating. I... <laughs> I just never have understand it because by if you cheat in order to win, then that's really not winning. Um, now, of course, anybody who is all for cheating, like, yeah, it is. I did technically win. It's like, yeah, but you had to cheat in order to get it. That's that's the equivalent of an athlete taking steroids and another athlete putting the time in and doing it on the field and practicing his skills. You know, that's the difference. Um, you took the easy way out. You didn't put in the work to be great, to be good, to know your strategies. And see, that's what irritates me most about this game is when people look down at Vanguard because it's not been around as much as Yu-Gi-Oh! So it must be inferior. Well, <clears throat> fuck those people. If you, if you know people like that, just put them out of your life. You don't need them. Um, I had like seven or eight friends at my locals that only play, play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I don't even talk to them anymore just because they've become assholes. I'm sorry. The Yu-Gi-Oh committee, the the, the Yu-Gi-Oh committee, the Yu-Gi-Oh community has gone so far down the shithole. It is insane. I have lost so much respect 
for Yu-Gi-Oh players in general. There are very few Yu-Gi-Oh players out there that I'm cool with anymore. I like literally a handful of them, but most of them, I just can't stand them anymore because of their attitude towards other games. And it's like, you want to talk about games that require no skill, that every deck's autopilot, that the, the, the company that backs your game doesn't care shit about its, its uh, customers. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh, Konami, hello. So anyway, back on a little bit discussion. I'll get off my soapbox there. But anyway, <clears throat> okay, so we're talking about episode 21 of Card Fight Vanguard G. Well, I'm going to sum it up really quickly. Chrono needs to get to grade 3 so him, Shion, and Tokawa can compete together as a team at the Vanguard National Tournament. Well, so they find this quest, and it's a tournament. You win the tournament, you get a, you get to go up a grade. So that would put Chrono to 3, like Toko and Shion. Cut through, you know, 5-6 minutes of tournament play. Chrono is chilling after one of his rounds, leaning up against the wall, watching a game in, away from him. And he notices one guy cheating and by cheating i mean he had he was wearing this big bulky sweater and he had this thing on his shoulder and whenever he went to go check his drive trigger so literally like something up here would shoot a card down his sweater and through the sleeve and it would go on top of the deck so then when he checked his trigger it would be a critical trigger every single time and this thing was like full of like nothing but critical triggers and it and chrono could see the card come out of the kid's um sleeve pocket from away and he called him on it now i'm going to tell you a way that you should approach this if you ever feel you're being cheated in a big event so hold on so Chrono goes over to this guy and says, I know what you did, you're cheating, blah, blah, blah. And of course, if you ever accuse someone of cheating, they're never going to come out and say, yeah, I'm cheating. And if they do, do me a favor, punch them right square in the nose. Just kidding. Um, he says, no, I'm not, blah, blah, blah. And Chrono says, I know you are, blah, blah, blah. So this goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Chrono being Chrono gets hot, you know, pissed off and um, ends up... Um, being threatened to be disqualified, so he sees the judge as defending the cheater. So Chrono leaves and doesn't say a word. He doesn't. And I kept thinking, oh my god, Chrono's gonna hit this kid. <laughs> you know, thank god he didn't, but because that, I, I would have been very disappointed if Bushiroad would have done that because that, because if littler kids see that, they think that is the way you approach cheating. Now, I am not saying that cheating is not. It's a minor thing, but you should never meet one wrong with another wrong. I know that sounds extremely cheesy, but it's it, it's the truth, you know. So anyway, he leaves, and then Shion says, Look, I know Chrono. He wouldn't get this mad if he didn't have a very, very good reason. And he says, Okay, I want you to take your sweater off. And the guy says, No, I don't have to do that. And Shion says, Fine. You're prepared to take all all of Chrono's points in his ranking away, I'm willing to risk mine just so you'll take your sweater off because I know the type of person Chrono is. And I was very proud of the development of the character of Shion in this episode because he finally becomes not a stick in the mud, if you know what I mean. And then it turns out, sweater comes, the kid takes his sweater off and you see this thing up here and you see it stacked with nothing but critical triggers. So the right person, um, you know, it was proved that he was cheating. Chrono was right. However, as much as I want to jump against the kid because I don't like cheating, um, you sh he shouldn't have gotten that physical and mad and almost on the verge of a fight. Even though I know it's I know it's hard. Trust me. <laughs> if you are ever in a tournament setting, and I mean at a regional, at a locals. Um, Whatever. If you think something's not right, you call a judge. If you don't have a judge at your locals, then you call someone that you can trust. Like at my, at where I go, there's like two or three people, and we are kind of like the judge if some if there's a question that the person whoever's behind the counter can't answer at the time. But if you think so, but cheating is cheating. Stacking is stacking, no matter what game it's in. If you think your opponent is cheating, then you can notify the judge. You can call a judge over. What should have happened? If in, in the perfect world, this is what should have happened. 
Kronos saw the cheating. He tells a judge, the judge confronts the accused and questions him and then asks him to whatever Chrono is accusing him of, then that guy can determine the course of action to take. He can watch the game. He can ask the guy to take his sweater off in that case, even though that is very ridiculous. I know that's anime, but let's say the kid was just stacking because essentially that's what he was doing. If Chrono saw this guy stacking and knew that's what he was doing, and told the judge, went up to a judge and said, Hey, I was watching this game. I think I'm pretty sure this guy's stacking. You might want to check him out. Then the judge can go, the judge can talk. Chances are what the judge would have, would have done is would have cut the kid it would have shuffled the kid's deck. Or he would have counted the cards, because the way it was seeming is that he had like this stack of cards, this little box of cards that shot down his sleeve. There was like stack of critical triggers and they're like that thick it would have eventually came up that there was more cards on the board than there should be because if you play vanguard you know your deck is 50 cards no more no less and then another eight if you count the g deck now but as for the main deck you have 50 cards no more no less so or he could have just simply counted his triggers because again you know in a vanguard deck you have 16 triggers no more no less so <clears throat> What you need to what you need to take away from this because after me and Frank had this conversation, I told him I'm gonna I, I told him okay I'll do a video on this. So I we um I'm fixing to go to bed that night. And I'm like okay I'll watch the new episode of Vanguard, <laughs> and I'm like what the fuck that is the definition of ironic. We we're just talking about cheating, and then I'm seeing it. So I can. I can understand why Frank or Chrono in either of their situations would be mad because they feel they're being cheated. But the last thing you do is you lash out at them. Because if you lash out, then you look like the person who has the problem. You need to remain as calm as possible and just call a judge over. Because if you're at a major event, all you do is stick your hand up and say, Judge. And when the judge comes over, he'll say, What's, what's going He'll say, What can I do? And you can say, Look. I'm pretty sure my opponent is stacking. I don't feel he's being truthful, or I don't feel he's playing by the rules. Um, you need to figure this out, because I feel like there's something here that's just not right. Then the judge can handle it. If you're at a regional event, and I'm, or, or say, put yourself in that situation, and you're sitting at a regional event at one of those long tables of all these games going on, and you're the one that makes the scene... You're the one who immediately is going to get in trouble first because you're the one who made the scene. If you simply just raise your hand and say, judge, that happens during a round. So it's not going to draw everyone's attention to you. But if you feel you're being cheated and this guy's denying it and you have a strong feeling that you're right and you slam your hands on the table and go, look, motherfucker, I know what you're doing. You're fucking stacking. Then everybody's going to look at you. And then it's you who has everyone looking at you because one, you've made a scene. Two, you've brought... Whenever you say the, the C word, cheating, whenever... Okay, I know what I just did there. I did not mean to do that. Whenever you say the... the we'll call it the CH word. <laughs> whenever you say the CH word in a card tournament, it immediately flags everybody. Because everyone's like, where, 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 what? Because if you, if, if you know someone's a cheater... Every, and, and it's widely known that that person has cheated before... Eyes are going to be on them like a hawk. So if you think something is going on in the middle of a game and it doesn't feel legit, then you need to call a judge. And as calmly as possible, if your opponent asks, why are you calling a judge? You can just say, I think you're stacking. I think you're cheating. I think you're not playing by the rules and leave it at that. And if he keeps asking you questions, then just ignore him. Because if he's the one that gets mad because you're accusing him, because if you're not cheating, and I accuse, and I say, look, I, I feel something's up here, and he says, what do you mean? And you say, well, I think you're stacking. If he, if if they fly off the collar like that, that normally means they're caught. Now, if they remain calm, you might honestly just make a mistake. But let me warn you, at the same time, if you accuse somebody of cheating, you have to be very sure that you have a strong feeling. Because I know people that 
will also remain nameless, that the only reason they lose is because their opponent cheated. And I, I hate people like that. They're like, well, I lost because he cheated. Well, I lost because he stacked. Well, I lost because he, he just drew the right card. It's like, sometimes you lose. It's a game. It's not... It, it's not, you know, the end of the world. But at the same time, I don't... I don't want you guys to take from this that, okay, if you feel you're being cheated, the thing you need to do is fly off the handle and make an ass out of yourself. Because it's okay to get mad. And it's perfectly justified to get mad if you feel you're being cheated. But if you're the one who makes a scene, starts making threats, and absolutely do not put your hands on them, then you're the one who's in trouble. <laughs> so... The if you guys are ever at a, if it's just at your local tournament that you go to once a week, or however often, or if it's a regional event, or if it's a qualifier, or if it's the upcoming team league, if you feel something is not right, just put your hand down, just like if you're holding your cards like this, if you're just sitting there and all of a sudden you think something just doesn't feel right, just take your hand, place it down, and just go judge. And just stop. And if you want, you don't even have to tell your opponent why you're calling the judge. If you just would rather the judge be there for the whole conversation, just put your hand down, say judge. And if your opponent says, why are you calling a judge? Just say nothing. Just just wait. And when the judge comes over, explain why, why you called him over. Because then the judge can be there. Because if the judge would have been there through the whole conversation that Chrono had with this guy, I'm pretty sure the judge would have figured out, okay, this kid is getting awfully defensive and very mad. There's obviously something, you know, here that he's hiding. That, you know, but by Chrono making a scene, and I think he also, like, grabbed him by his shirt, that makes him the aggressor. So, do not... I mean, this was the best episode of Card Fight Vanguard G by far because it showed it showed you how not to treat a situation like this in a tournament. But it also showed you guys you can't blame the judge for everything. Now, if a judge gives you a bad ruling or he's un or he does something that is not by the rules, then that's okay to get mad. But you also got to remember the number one re the sometime the solution they give may not always be the best. It's kind of on the fly of the best they can. Obviously, I don't agree with Chrono getting all his points stripped from him, but at the same time, I do not agree with Chrono putting his hands on the kid and making a scene, because that also draws attention to him. That gives him a negative um, reputation, because now everyone who's seen him or was there will know him as that guy who flipped out when someone was cheating. So... It's one of those things that just opens the door to a very hairy situation that you just don't want to be a part of. So my best piece of advice that I can give you is if you're ever at one of these big events or just a local tournament, you need to remain calm if you think your opponent is doing something that is not by the rules. And just simply call over a judge or call over someone and say, look, I think this person's not being fair. I think he's doing this. And I mean, there, there's one person at my locals. I literally just won't play him. You know, um, I haven't seen him in a long time. I just won't play him anymore because, uh, and I've actually uh, not made top cut in our local tournaments because I simply will not play him anymore because of his attitude and just the way he acts. I just, it, it's not worth my effort um, because I, it, it's, it, it, it's hard for me to sit there and play him and take all his shit and not want to hit him. So it's like, sometimes the best thing to do is just remove yourself from the situation. But, if you ever go to a regional event like this, you're going to see or hear this happening at least once. Unfortunately, that's just the case. So if it does happen to you, just simply raise your hand, call a judge, and, con and, d and talk it over with them. Do not, under any circumstances, put your hands on them. If you, if you grab the guy and start demanding that he tells you what you're doing... That, that that could lead to a major problem. Two, do not raise your voice. Three, do not make a scene. Um, just call a judge over and say, this is what's happening. 
That's what that's the best course of action. I know it's not the cool thing to do, but it's also the smart thing to do because at these tournaments, guys, keep in mind they're card game tournaments. The judges, all they want to do is keep the tournament moving. They want to keep it fair. They want to keep it legit. They want to keep it safe um, because keep in mind, there are other people that go to this tournament besides people of my age and maybe yours. There's little kids. If little kids go to this tournament and are competing in the same tournament as you and their parents are there and they see one of the players jump up and grab someone because they think they're cheating and start shaking them and cussing at them, it's going to hurt the reputation. So don't make a scene like that because that could turn around that could that could turn around and hurt the reputation of Bushy Road, which I'm sure none of you want to do. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope it I hoped it was what Frank wanted um, when he suggested I made this. I hope you all got something out of this. Thank you very much for watching it. Please leave some feedback below for me. I would really appreciate it. Um, tell me, um, feel free to share your experience if you've ever been cheated against or anything. Please feel free to share any and all of your thoughts with me. Thank you very much guys. I hope you're doing great. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.